Hello, today I would like to introduce the idea of left hand day. The idea of left hand day is having a day. I'm not going to go into this right now, probably more towards the end of how often we should have it. But first of all, let's talk about the idea of having a day in which we use the left hand. If you're a left handed person, use the right hand. But using the hand that you're not usually doing tasks with. And there is few benefits that can come as a result the way I see it. So the first of all is you can relearn tasks or tweak your task, which means like, let's take brushing your teeth, for example, you're most likely do brushing your teeth for years and years in, in, in probably in the same way. It's very automatic for you. You can think about whatever you want to do while doing it and you don't care about it. And the only way you can actually change some things or it's actually being conscious every time or be extremely uh, vigilant about what you're doing, which is less likely to happen because whenever you start brushing your teeth, you, you usually go into automatic mode. And a very good way of doing that is using your left hand because you, it, you will feel like you're a child all over again. Because, oh, how do I actually brush my teeth with my left hand? It's like learning a task all from the start, all from scratch. So that's the first idea of why, uh, what's the benefit of left hand day. So you can choose any, any task you want and tweak, change, and understand how to be more efficient and more thorough if you in a specific task. Uh, with doing it with the left hand. Uh, the next idea is be more mindful. If you care about more, uh, being mindfulness and being in the present, that will help you to anchor yourself down here in the present, not being all over the place in your head, because that will require you to be present because you will need your conscious brain to be involved with it, with this task. task. Uh, there is nowhere to where to run out of it. Could be a little annoying, uh, as as much for our uh, my experience sometimes, because you don't have as much control. You don't understand exactly what you're doing, so it's a little annoying. But I found it very useful. Another benefit is prepare for an function, which mean that sometimes happened to me many times. Something something happened to my right. Hand. It doesn't happen. It doesn't necessarily have to be to my whole arm, but some part of it. So I, I'm not. Let's say I cut myself, and I don't. I don't have a full control of my right hand. So I'm finding myself having to use my left hand. So when this things happen, usually you don't know how to how to use your left hand. You don't know how to do tasks. So the more you get used to use your left hand, the more you have control on your left hand, the better you will be in those situations. So you prepare yourself for being more adapt to situation in which you don't have uh, full control on your uh, strong, strong hand. I'll give another idea is developing strength with your left hand. Your left hand is uh, substantially uh, weak than the right hand for the reasons. It doesn't happen. It doesn't matter even if you lift weights. I lift weights sometimes, uh, but it doesn't matter how much you do. Even if you, you, you lift the same amount of weights, your left hand is usually smaller and less strong, even if you do the same amount of weightlifting. The idea it's not, it hasn't been researched, but I think it's because of all the tasks you're doing with the left, the right hand, which you're not doing with the left. There is many things, many little tasks and movements that you're doing with the right hand because that's the dominant hand, which you're not doing with the left. The more tasks you do, the more little, the little muscles are using you're you're be you're be using on your left hand. So using your left hand to do a variety of tasks should reinforce and strengthen your left hand as well. 
The last idea, and that one could be more controversial, is developing the right brain, the right side of the brain, which is controlling on the left hand. The idea is that the right hand, the right side of the brain controlling the left, and the left side of the brain controlling the right hand. And the right side of the brain is associated with creativeness. Uh, usually, people are more creative, usually are left-handed, considered to be more creative. Again, it could be controversial, I'm not sure about it, but why not? That's like a, a bonus, if it works. That's not, this should not be the main idea of doing this. Uh, but using the left hand more should enhance creativity. Again, controversial. Now, let's go into um, how often and what to do with this left hand. So, I think it should be around once a week or once a month. Once a week could be a little too much, especially if you have like a whole day you're doing those tasks. Uh, so probably once a week or once a month, depends how intense you want it. You also will need in that day more free time in order to have, because every task you'll do with your left hand, let's say you're taking a shower and do everything with your left hand, that will require you, uh, I don't know, 50% more, but uh, definitely it will take more time and you need some patience as well. So I would say once a month is more realistic. Uh, and also very important is what to do with it. So don't do everything with, with your left hand. That's gonna be, first of all, very annoying uh, and not you will not be able to, it's not sustainable. Uh, what, what I recommend is choose tasks. For example, shower is a very good time because you, you don't have anything to do while doing this, for example. So you like showers. Uh, you can do preparing food, even though it's a little dangerous, especially when you're using your knife. So choosing tasks, so don't do everything in that day with your left hand. Choose your tasks, or choose like a few tasks every uh, week or every month you're doing this. Choose the tasks you you're, you're want to do with your left hand and stick with them for a little while until you master in it. So find the best task for you, find the best task that you're, you're really bad at or you really, uh, you really want to strengthen your abilities. Uh, that's, that's basically the idea, the left hand day, and thank you.